The Gloucester Javelin was a subsonic interceptor aircraft that served in the British RAF between the mid-1950s and the late 1960s. It had a twin-engine, delta-wing design. After the Second World War had ended, Britain saw the need for a high-performance night fighter to face the threat of jet-powered strategic bombers and atomic weaponry. The Air Ministry issued a specification for a two-seat night fighter that would be able to intercept enemy aircraft at at least 40,000 feet. Other requirements included a minimum flight time of two hours, structural strength to support 4G maneuvers at high speed, and the inclusion of a radar. It was also crucial that the aircraft would be economical to produce. Gloucester produced several design proposals, and eventually they and de Havilland was issued instructions by the Ministry of Supply to each construct four airworthy prototypes and one airframe each for structural testing. Gloucester developed the Gloucester GA-5, and de Havilland developed the DH-110. However the number of ordered prototypes were reduced, due to cost-cutting measures. A strange effect of this was that the first production Gloucester Javelin was actually completed before the prototype order was fulfilled. The first Gloucester prototype was completed in 1951, and it conducted its first flight November 26 the same year. It was described as easy to fly, but during one test flight, the elevators detached in mid-air. The pilot was able to avoid disaster and land the aircraft. The second prototype received a modified wing, but in 1953 it crashed during testing. The pilot was killed. The wing had acted as an airbrake, and degraded the airflow over the elevators, making the aircraft uncontrollable. The official production order for the Gloucester Javelin was issued in mid-1953. Much of the construction was subcontracted to other aviation companies, as Gloucester was still producing the Gloucester Meteor. On July 22, 1954, the first production aircraft flew for the first time. The Javelin became the Royal Air Force's first purpose-built all-weather interceptor. The delta wing and tailplane combination of the design, was used to obtain the required maneuverability at high speed, and for the aircraft to be controllable at low landing speeds. The two engines were placed on either side of the fuselage, and the internal space between them contained much of the electrical, hydraulic and avionics subsystems. The aircraft was also fitted with ejection seats, and it had a significantly shorter turnaround time between sorties than the Gloucester Meteor. The Gloucester Javelin entered service in the RAF in 1956. It soon proved quite capable of intercepting jet bombers and jet fighters, over a hundred miles out to sea. The introduction of the aircraft type considerably expanded the night fighter activity of the RAF. The Javelin served in the Indonesia-Malaysia confrontation, from September 1963 to August 1966, where it flew combat patrols over the jungles of Malaysia. The aircraft type was also deployed to Hong Kong, during the 1967 Chinese Cultural Revolution. It was deployed to Zambia during the early stages of Rhodesia's unilateral declaration of independence, to protect Zambia from the Rhodesian Air Force. A total of 435 Gloucester Javelins were produced, and the last aircraft were retired from the RAF in 1968.